Today we're expecting three cars. You were not expecting this car. No. It had so much mold on the carpet and the interior. What's the start? Buying a, a modern Brabus. What are we looking awesome. at here? This is all of the fuel parts that we had sent to get rebuilt on our 450 SEL 6.9 because it was just frozen solid. This plate right here will not move at all. It's rock solid. And then their lead time is about eight weeks for any rebuild. So we've got a couple cars that have parts there. And this is the pin that was frozen solid. That's the airflow meter. And then as you see, it's supposed to come all the way down. And then as this comes down, it pushes up on this, which pushes up on this fuel lever right here. And that's how it gets fuel. Puts on her, on her Facebook page, a labor of love and puts my G-Wagon. <laughs> she, she destroyed my car and puts a labor of love. That wrap is so awful. The problem is, the concept is so nice from like far that when you do take pictures of it, it looks great. So they can take credit for it. Like, oh look how great this one looks, but. This rebuilt, this was cleaned and tested, and then they rebuilt the warm-up regulator as well. You already put it in? Huh? Warm-up yeah. regulator? No, it's still in the box. For sure. When I mean, you got 200 cars that you're ordering parts for, and you really don't have the most space in the world, how are you gonna keep track of everything? Just put it in the trunk. This bolt in. It's definitely on this side of the engine. That part I know for sure. Jeez. Guard. People will say this is bulletproof. This is just for sound dead. Of course. That's bulletproof. That will stop a, a, a small caliber bullet. I've seen it. Look. Did it start? No, I was expecting a fuel leak. Oh. You're just trying to see what you have to tighten? Yeah. I don't think it's gonna start. I'm just checking for leaks. Well, that doesn't inspire confidence. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Can I mean to get it? You want Julio to get in there? I can get it in I mean, let Julio do it. Get in for the window, Julio. We got this, bro. Oof. Yo, know, come pull it. It's yeah. probably stuck on the wall, not being able to push out. All right, that's really good. You keep your finger turned, but you let go of the gas once it starts. No, it doesn't. It doesn't idle at all. It cranks. Gas is getting to it, cranking. All things hip. Today we're expecting three cars, a 500 SL Brabus, 600 SL Carlson, yellow on yellow leather, yellow wood, and another surprise vehicle that you're gonna try to watch and see. You were not expecting this car. No. This is, the, this is the pearl, oh shit, I didn't even know it was here. Amazing. Is this a Kune? Yeah, found it in the UK. Only real issue I see is a little bubbling right here that I'm not to get taken care of because the car's so mint. It's a shame. We just received an R107 Koenig Special right-hand drive from the UK that I picked up out there from a dealership. The same dealer also had a right-hand drive R129 uh, powder blue on blue interior. Picked that up as well. But yes, the R107 Koenig Special 
Uh, we already had the same car, same spec, except it had white paint, not pearl paint. White on red. Right. For me, it's more about the interior. I, I can put a body kit on it, I can AMG this car, it's right hand drive, it's just cooler. That's why I got it for cheap, so I got it for like 8,000 pounds. And having you just clean the whole interior, like, somehow this is disgusting. I'm falling apart. Oh, mold, look at here. Yeah, everything. Oh, look, it comes right off, so you gotta. Yeah. Alright, uh, so what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna vacuum it out and then I'm gonna spray it down with some extraction solution. I'm gonna extract it. It's basically hot water. It'll soak up, kill it, you got all the mold out, and then I'll do that a couple times just to get it, you know, as much of it as I can out of it. After that, I'll spray some protecting on it and take it, take it by eye, you know, take it as we go, see how, how bad. All right, so this car right here we got from the UK. We got it as a package deal with the R107 Koenig Special. Figured I'd grab both and get a better deal. So it has a lot of uh, mold all over the engine bay, the hood pad. I just, I can't believe how, mo how moldy it is inside out, the trunk. I'm not sure where they had this car sitting. Maybe like in a really, really, really humid container or something, somewhere, but nevertheless, here it is. We're gonna get it right. Julio's doing his magic right now. pickup truck I found it in Germany for cheap money first we were like ah doesn't look too special because the other one we have has an AMG kit on it but uh after I did my little bit of research on it I realized it was an SGS so I snatched it up real quick and uh, here it is straight from Germany Cobwebs all over the seat. It smelled super musty and moldy. I washed it, took out all the carpets, extracted them, did as much of the mold removal as I could, got it looking beautiful again. I'm waiting on, on my ozone machine so I can hit, hit it with that and get all of the odor out of it. Right now, I'm doing a little chrome polish on the wheels, and after that, it's just light polish on the paint, and it'll be good to go. I took this over to Manessi, and then they're like, this is the most embarrassing rap we've ever seen. Like, nothing would even come close Sue to that bitch. Leave, our, leave our shop. It's awful. Yeah. That. Right yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, here. There's more. Wait, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. The store was kind of hard to close after we got it wrapped. So, and yo, how, how bad did you we got looking? the instructions to adjust the rear door. And right now, that's what we're doing. So, right here, we got this thin tail. Paint, it had a lot of imperfections on it, but right here, it was so bad, it was down to the bare metal. So I went ahead and covered it with paint, and now I'm about to go ahead and wet sand it, get it right and glossy, so it matches the rest of the paint. So right here, I'm about to start the wet sanding process on this patch. I'm gonna start with 1,000 grit and work my way up to 1,500. I don't want to take too much of the paint off. I just want to sand it down to where it's smooth so then I can go back over with the buffer and get it all polished and even with the rest of the panel. Buying a, a modern Brabus 
B55. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get these edges on the L side. I want to get these smooth. So I'm trying to blend, mm. blend this. It won't be fully blended, but it'll look a lot better. Today was pretty productive, you know, we got the Koenig finished up, car's looking good. Like I said, the only thing left, for real, is just getting the, the odor out with the ozone machine. And also, we did a little uh, paint touch up on the fin tail, on the blue fin tail we got. So, that's done, I had to add some more paint to it, so we're just waiting for that to cure up and get dried up. And that's, that's it, now we're just waiting on some deliveries. <laughs> that's it. Word up. Cut!